it's very common for my tougher cases uh, to come to me and say, well, I had a VNG performed and the test result was normal. The VNG said I had no problem. Uh, the latest case I just had was a client who had been experiencing uh, intense feelings of being off balance, just sudden onset of being very, very off balance. And he said the VNG said I had no inner ear problems. And I said to him, well, when you had the VNG, did you become dizzy? When they did the, when they squirt the air in your ears, you know, this was a VNG where they used air instead of water. He said, no, I didn't get dizzy at all. I said, you mean when they put cold and hot air in your ears, you didn't become dizzy at all, no sensation of spinning? No, but yet the test was considered normal? And he said, yes. And I thought, well, that's kind of uh, interesting because usually when a VNG is performed, when the warm and cold air is squirted in the uh, person's ears, they should describe some form of dizziness in, if the test is actually normal. And so the first thing is a uh, vestibular therapist, when you're working with clients, you need to know uh, if they're having a tough case of dizziness, you really need to know what's wrong from an inner ear or a brainstem cerebellar perspective. And understanding what should happen with those VNGs is normal, uh, is, is helpful. So a VNG, when a person has a VNG performed, they should become dizzy when they have that VNG done or else maybe something is wrong with their inner ears or maybe there's something wrong with the test.